Hello, this is Mario from Odeon. In this video, we will show you how you can set up an Aureli station in Odeon, which is a simulation of the room's acoustics that you can listen to. This is a feature available in Odeon Auditorium and Combined. On our website, we have several examples of what can be achieved with Aureli station. Go to odeon.dk Examples and then into any of the categories. For an accurate listening experience, we recommend you to listen with headphones. First, we will try a basic oralization with only one source. The first step is to check if oralizations are enabled. To do that, we will go to the oralization setup icon at the top icon bar. Then, on the binaural settings section, you will find create binaural impulse response file, which should be enabled in order to produce oralizations. So, what is a binaural impulse response? An impulse response is typically monaural, and it would be related to what is captured by a microphone. On the other hand, a binaural impulse response is related to what is captured by a pair of ears, taking into account several factors of human hearing such as perception of direction. We have a video talking about the theory of binaural aralization in more detail. The rest of the settings here are a little advanced, so for now we will not meddle with them. Now, let's go to the job list at the top icon bar. And at the right side of the screen, you will see the Aralizations tab. This opens the window where we can define Aralizations. If there is no such tab, that means that the Create Binaural Impulse Response File checkbox is not ticked. The left side shows a convolver. This window displays a list of convolutions, which are each an individual combination of an anechoic recording and a single point response. The right side is the mixer, which is divided into two further subsections. The first one shows the mixes, which can each contain and combine many convolutions. The second section shows which convolutions are included in the selected mix. So, let's set up an oralization. Fortunately, Odeon already comes with a selection of recordings, which we also call wave signals, to carry out oralizations. These recordings are anechoic, meaning they have been recorded in a sound absorbent room such as an anechoic chamber. This is necessary in order to produce an accurate simulation. There's a piano signal that I personally like, called Piano Autumn Leaves, which is this one. So, on the Signal Subpath column, I'll select the subfolder Piano Recordings. Then, on the Signal File column, I will select Piano Autumn Leaves. To listen to the anechoic recording, first click on the row under any of the orange headers. Then, click on this Play Wave button. Or, use the Alt-S shortcut. To use your own anechoic recordings for RLE sessions, first go to your Odeon Installation folder. And then to the Wave Signals folder. You will simply need to copy your audio files into this folder, but keep in mind that the audio files should be in WAV format and have a sample rate of 44.1 kHz. Then, you will be able to select them within Odeon. 
Notice here that there is no signal subpath selected. Leaving this field blank lets you select WAVE files in the WAVE signals root folder. For this example, I will keep the Piano Autumn Leaves recording. Next, I will select the job, that is, the source and receiver positions. This will only show jobs with a single point response. Here, I will choose job 3, which uses source P1 and receiver 1. We can then perform the calculation by clicking again anywhere on this row, then on run single job. Running a convolution in the aralization window will actually calculate the required job and the aralization itself. When the calculation is done, you can visualize the binaural impulse response by going back to the Jobs tab, then to View Single Point Response, and then to the BRIR tab. You can listen to the binaural impulse response by going to the context sensitive menu here. then clicking on Play Impulse Response. In this window, you can also save the binaural impulse response as a WAVE file. More interestingly, we can now listen to the realization itself. However, it is likely that the playback level will be too low or too high. This box here shows the maximum sound level in the realization. Digital audio should never exceed 0 decibels. Anything above that will distort the audio. If you exceed a level of 0, then the convolution will be shown in purple when highlighted, or red when not highlighted, to warn you of high volume and distortion. We would recommend an output level between minus 10 and 0 decibels. For this realization, we have a level of approximately minus 24 decibels, which is a little too low. We can add a gain in this recording level column. In this case, I will add a gain of 20 dB. This change will erase the current convolution, so you will need to recalculate it. However, this does not erase the impulse response, only the convolution will be recalculated. After recalculating, you can double check that the maximum output is now between minus 10 and 0. Now we can listen to the aralization. We will click on the row to select the convolution, but in order to listen to the aralization, this time we click under any of the blue headers. Then we again use the Alt S shortcut. Keep in mind that if you click under the orange headers, you will only listen to the anechoic recording, so make sure to click under the blue headers instead. Just as with binaural impulse responses, you can save the realization as a WAVE file. You can also calculate and play realizations in real time. To do that, let's go back to the Jobs tab. First, we select the desired single point response. In this case, job 3. Then we click on Streaming Convolution. Here, click the Play button to start convolving in real time. The Streaming Convolution will automatically adjust the gain. The Athenian and Aron is also. It was during the 5th century before Christ that the Athenian Agora began to sing You can also change signals during the convolution. Before the middle of that century, the center of public theater activities was moved from its temporary location in the...
Keep in mind that RLE sessions cannot be saved in this window. Now let's calculate a mix, which is a combination of convolutions. Here I have defined a few additional convolutions. Let's make an oralization combining the two speech convolutions. So off went the emperor in procession under his splendid canopy. Everyone in the street and the windows said, Oh, how fine are the emperor's new clothes! Não te deixes destruir, ajuntando novas pedras e construindo novos poemas. Recria tua vida sempre, sempre. Each recording is assigned to a different source, but both jobs have the same receiver. I will first select a mix and give it a description. Then, on the right side, we select the convolutions we want to add to the currently selected mix. I will first select convolution 3. When creating a mix, you can only combine convolutions with the same receiver and the same receiver direction. So, after selecting convolution 3, convolutions 1 and 2 are no longer available, since they either have a different receiver or a different receiver direction. You can adjust the level of each convolution for this mix only, without affecting other mixes. This calibration column is to adjust the level of different anechoic recordings to have the same A weighted level. So, if I tick the checkbox for both WAVE files, they will be adjusted to have a comparable loudness. Keep in mind that this adjustment is applied on the files before the convolution. To calculate the mix, we select it, then click on Run Single Job. If the level of your mix is too low or too high, you can adjust the level of all our realizations and mixes without having to adjust each convolution individually. To do that, go back to the realization setup and then to overall recording level. This is a gain that is applied on all our realizations. To apply it, simply close the window. Again, you will have to recalculate the mix, but this won't recalculate the jobs. To listen to the mix, I will select it and hit Alt S. <laughs> You can play the individual convolutions from this window. So off went the emperor in procession under his splendid canopy. Everyone in the street and the window said, Oh, how fine are the emperor's new clothes! As you can see, the mixer interface allows you to play with different combinations of sources, receivers, and signals. And it's simple when you only have a few sources. But if you want to define a whole orchestral ensemble, each source with their own signal file, defining it here can be a bit of work. This is why we also have the multi-source signal oralization expert over here. It allows you to easily select a group of WAVE files, assign them to each of your sources, and Nodin will automatically generate the required jobs in the mix. First, we will delete our current convolutions. We can select multiple with control click, shift click, or Ctrl A to select all. Then we hit the delete key and confirm. I will also define a new group of sources. Remember that you can define a group of regularly spaced sources with the tabulation tool, which we explain in detail in another video.
Now, back in the RLization window, we go to the Multi-Source Signal RLization Expert. First, you can enter the mix description here. Then, select the receiver, which will be your listening position. You can also change the direction here, which can have a big impact in oralizations. The default direction is towards minus X, though you can also aim your receiver towards any of your sources. To orient to an arbitrary coordinate, you can define a dummy source at that coordinate and just not assign any wave file to it. In this model, the minus X direction is facing towards the stage, so we will leave it as it is. You will see a list of your sources down here. To assign wave files to your sources, you can click on Select Multiple Signal Files. Browse to the folder that contains the files, highlight them by shift clicking, and click on Select Signal Files. You can now see that each signal file has been assigned to each source. If you select less files than the number of sources, the last sources will be left without a WAVE file. This is actually useful in the case of having defined a source for aiming but wanting to keep it inactive. To finish up, we just close this window and accept the confirmation. Now, new jobs and convolutions have been defined, as well as a mix that puts together those convolutions. To calculate all jobs, convolutions, and mix them, we simply click on the mix and run it. Before listening, you might just need to adjust the overall recording level and rerun it. Now we can listen to it. We can listen to some of the individual convolutions by selecting them in the list of mixed convolutions. You can also duplicate a mix by selecting it, hitting Ctrl C, selecting another mix, and hitting Ctrl V. This is especially useful if you want to calculate the same RLization for a different receiver position. If you go to the multi source signal RLization expert while a mix is selected, you will go into editing that mix instead of creating a new one. This allows us to edit the receiver for our second mix. I will also enter a new description while I'm here. When closing the realization expert, new jobs will be created for the new receiver. There are a few other ways to set up our realizations in Odeon. We have predefined orchestral simulations, which you can download from our website. Under Downloads, Zip Archives with Anechoic Recordings. These include the room model, complete setup, 
and anechoic recordings which can be used in any other room model. Additionally, you can transfer orchestral setups from these zip archives or from your own previous models to other rooms. This is shown in our video on moving an entire orchestra to a new room. Also, if you have the recording of a single instrument or a single speaking person, you can simulate a realistic instrument section or a crowd with Odeon's audio effects. We have a video for each of these applications. With that, we conclude this tutorial, and we hope you have found it useful. To discover all the possibilities regarding oralization in Odeon, we recommend you to check out our playlist on oralization. Good luck, 